Wood floors get damaged, just like furniture or cabinets or any other objects made from wood. There are various methods and products used for repairing the damage. The products chosen generally depend on the scope of the damage and the traffic pattern where the damage is located. We have acquired some hardwood flooring samples, so the repairs are easier to film than they would be if done on a floor. We'll start by repairing the gouge on this piece. To begin the repair, color the damage with a background marker. Background markers will not turn dark on bare wood as do most other markers. We're adding color so the fill will not have a light halo around the edges. Be sure to wipe off any color on the surface. For this repair, we will use a quick fill burn-in stick. This repair would be appropriate for low traffic areas. Quick fill burn-in sticks are also appropriate for use on cabinets, furniture, wainscoting, and most indoor wood applications. The quick fill burn-in must be softened by heat to enable it to fill the damage properly and efficiently. We'll use a flameless heat gun as a heat source. Pulling the trigger causes the gun to heat. No flame is exposed, but the heat is quite intense, more than enough to soften the quick fill stick. Caution should be taken by the user not to get burned. Bring the quick fill stick near the end of the heat gun. Apply the heat until the exposed area becomes shiny and soft. While the stick is melted, apply it to the damage by rubbing it in with good pressure. We'll use a leveler card to take away the excess burn-in material. Start with the high areas that have accumulated at the edges. Then wear away the excess over the damaged area by pulling the card across it. The goal is to wear it level a little at a time. Notice how small amounts of excess have accumulated on the edge of the card. Use a clean part of the card to continue wearing away the excess. Too much pressure will result in pulling some burn-in material out of the damage. Very light pressure at the end of the cleaning is appropriate. The color must then be adjusted to blend with the color of the surrounding finish. We're going to use blend all sticks. One matches the lightest color of the flake of the wood and the other the darker color of the wood, more like the grain color. Start with the lighter color. Then add the darker over the lighter. The two will blend to create the correct tone. In order to complete the repair, we have to apply a top coat. In this case, we will use a pre-canalized lacquer of the correct sheen. The lacquer blends the sheen and livens the color of the repair. Because we're dealing with a floor, three or four coats should be applied for adequate protection.